everybody that's helped along the way to put the broadcast on the air and, and bring it to the fans. And obviously working with Lane Grindle and, and Jeff Colhane, Kent Pavelka, uh, Mike Elliott, everybody um, back there, Ben McLaughlin, and the voice of the Huskers, Greg, uh, thank you to you because you're the best, man. You're the best in the business, and uh, we've had a lot of fun. I love you. You know that. And uh, we're going to continue to have fun for the next few hours here and hopefully uh, get a win. But this new opportunity for me with 1890, I'm going to continue to do what I've done for most of my life, which is try to give back to uh, this program as best that I can, um, to the state and to the greatest fans in college football who have given so much to my family and me. And and so that's what I'm going to continue to do. You know, uh, I'll be around. And uh, who knows? I mean... I could do a game again someday. You never know, right? <laughs> well, it, we have had a ton of fun. over. Fi- we've had a lot of twists and turns, right, in 15 years of doing this. And I know Kent cherished his, his relationship with you on the basketball broadcast. You did step aside from that four or five years ago. But, yeah, it, this is, a, this is a, a, a job of passion, and you have to have passion. And you go through the winding roads of wins and losses with your teams, and you – support them and then they break your heart and then you support them some more and they thrill you to all those type of things we love all of that we've had uh, a thousand high fives over the years probably more and uh we've had some heartache we've been in you know some title games together in the big 12 and and in the big 10 and um shoot uh it's it's been a heck of a run and and you know we work in a very subjective business and you're never going to make everybody happy but you know, I think, um, you know, we've worked hard to try to give them the, the, the best product that we can. I know you do, and, and I sure have. And and uh, so we move on, but not before we call another W here tonight. Yeah, let's let's you know, hope. You know, the passion for this program, Mickey Joseph, former Husker Barrett Roots on this staff, Bill Bush on this staff, guys that just love this program and so many people on the support staff that love this program. And this program needed a a shot of adrenaline. They got it, Matt, last Saturday with a nice win over Indiana where they needed to win a game in the fourth quarter, and they did it. That was so encouraging to me how they put that thing away last week. Absolutely. I mean, it was a great effort. Uh, Mickey did a great job getting them ready and and getting them to finish. And that's what he talked about this week, too. And it's a four-quarter game. Rutgers is going to play really hard. Greg Schiano's teams, they play hard, and they're going to give great effort tonight. Nebraska has to match that. You have to be ready in the fourth quarter to try to put this thing away. This is going to be a physical game. This is going to be a game with great effort on both sides of the ball. Their crowd is into it. Uh, Their student section is packed. Nebraska is going to have to show up on this Friday night and really play a good football game to win. Scarlet Knight just rode the horse out from the corner. Their teams are going to be emerging from the tunnels here in just a couple of minutes as we're now about six and a half minutes away from kickoff for this game. You mentioned Shiano. He hangs that hat on defense. He loves to play defense. They're not going to give up big plays. They're going to make Nebraska work to score tonight in this game. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, and, and obviously Mark Whipple wants big plays. He wants Trey Palmer deep, uh, and Nebraska's going to do that. They're going to take some shots down the field, uh, and Rutgers knows that that's what Nebraska's going to try to do. On the other side, you got to think Rutgers is going to get big tonight and try to run the ball. Uh, they've been burning clock most of the season when they're out there on offense they'll run the clock down and and just uh try to try to run it obviously a couple of tight ends sometimes three tight ends and so nebraska is going to have to stand up against the run tonight on defense you'll see the huskers in a bear defense they'll match personnel well communication has to be great for nebraska because they're going to be substituting nebraska has to get the right personnel out there to match those those uh, personnel groupings for Rutgers, and we're going to have to get big a lot tonight. So you're going to see Nash Hutchmacher play a lot tonight, along with those other D linemen, because stopping the run is going to be number one. Might see a former Husker at quarterback tonight for Rutgers and Noah Vedro. Sounds like it. Noah is probably going to start, it sounds like, and, and play. I was watching him throw out there in the in the pregame. He looks good. Um, he was throwing it well. Uh, happy that he's healthy uh, for him. He's a great kid, great family. And uh, so, you know, let's hope he plays well and Nebraska wins. How about that? I'd be good with that. Yeah, I'd be really good with that. <laughs> you know, the defense last week was such a story, Matt. 71 yards is all they gave up in the second half to Indiana. It looked like Nebraska was quicker to the ball. They were sure of what they were trying to do last week. And, man, did that defense, those guys need some confidence. Bill Bush uh, came in, and he made some minor tweaks, right? And and one of the biggest things he talked about a lot was just getting lined up. 
can we get lined up on every play uh, before uh, they snap the football? And we knew Indiana was going to try to go fast, so that was a challenge. Tonight, it shouldn't be a problem getting lined up because we're not probably going to see the pace that Indiana played with. But to get lined up for all those plays against Indiana last week when they're trying to go fast, that's what Coach Bush was really proud of from that defense and they lined up well we played more guys we played some young guys that hadn't played much Malcolm Hartsock played a great football game as a true freshman at corner and so we played some different guys got them more snaps and I think you'll see that here again tonight folks if the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown you could be a winner of $54,000 credit on a new vehicle from any Woodhouse Auto Family dealership this season this uh, week's contestant is Patricia Casale from Omaha go Patricia if you want to get registered for future games, go to Oscars.com slash Woodhouse for official rules and how to get yourself entered. Neither team has emerged yet from that tiny little tunnel. Around the corner, looks like the Scarlet Knights are charging down. They'll come out first. The Oscars will follow out. A lot, of the, a lot of the Husker coaches have already made their way to the sideline. They've got a little uh, fireworks show going off the one end zone down here. And... We're getting ready for a little Friday night football here in the Big Ten Conference tonight. Huskers and Scarlet Knights, short week for both of these teams. Rutgers played at Ohio State. Nebraska had the home game. And so the Nebraska, the long flight here to the East Coast a couple of hours ago. Here come the Scarlet Knights charging out of that tunnel. Smoke machine flaring up there as well. Huskers with that long flight. Then you have about an hour bus ride from Newark down here. It's not easy to get here. <laughs> No, it's been a little bit of a weird trip. I mean, getting out here is a deal, and the traffic, getting to the hotel. We had to be out of the rooms. I mean, it was this afternoon. They had a big group coming into the hotel. Obviously, it's going to be a late return tonight, but but that doesn't really matter. It's Look, you, you show up and you play the game. I thought it was going to be a sold-out crowd. That's what they told us, right? Yeah, where's a lot of people <laughs> not to see Chet for this game Is tonight. it half full? Jessica mentioned that in her first week. Report down there is a lot of there, people have come in since she talked, but man, there's a lot of empty seats uh, still out there. Huskers have yet to come out. We're still we're about a little two and a half minutes yet. I think we're kind of getting ready for the coin toss, but none of the Husker captains are down here. This is a weird spot of the locker room. It's back underneath the stadium on the far it's side the, from us. It's the furthest we have to go probably for any game that I, that I know of in the Big Ten, unless I'm forgetting something. But we have to essentially go all the way across the field down uh, excuse me down to the goal line then up a ramp that's probably 40 yards this ramp that's a pretty good incline then you turn to the left and you go back to midfield at about you know uh, two flights of stairs up and then back to the 50 yard line so i mean it's a deal getting in there uh, at halftime and then the locker room is for sure the worst one in the conference we <laughs> thought it was bad two years ago and then we showed up today worse. and it was worse than two years ago because yeah. they took part of the locker room <laughs> for the opposing team, and they use it for their own stuff. So they just shrunk it down a little bit. Well, let's get down to the center of the field for the toss of the coin. Here's Jessica Cootie. It's for Rutgers is Shaveen Jones, the senior receiver, Adam Corsack, the senior punter, Johnny Langan, the senior Huskers, Nick Hendrich, Garrett Wilson, and Caleb Tanner. Eagles, tails. That's heads. Nebraska, you're the visitor. You want to want tails. Tails. And it is Tails. Nebraska, Nebraska, won, the Nebraska. Nebraska. Nebraska won the toss. Nebraska won the toss. They defer their choice to the second half. All right, Greg, I believe the second half were calling us. The first one was back in Ireland, Northwestern. Garrett Nelson called it. Didn't work. That was Nick Henrich. Just got it right with Colin Tails, and uh, they win. They'll defer till the second half. Tails never fails, is what they say. So the Oscars will be on defense to start this game. Now time for the view for the field brought to you by Field Net. What do you see? Well, I see it's dark right now. Rutgers does more with their lights than any school in the conference. Every score, they turn them off. They're off right now. They're going to flicker them every so often on, I don't even know, like they told us they're going to turn the lights on and off all the time. There's some fireworks going off. It's a blackout, so the entire student section has black on. Look, it's a pretty good atmosphere. It's more like a party. They yeah. kind of have a... Uh, I don't know, like a club vibe going on down there with the student section and the and the music. So, hey, we have a good view. We're on the 40-yard line. We're going to be able to see everything really well. It's one of the so, better vantage points really we have is. in the conference. Yeah, it's not too bad. So the best view of your field begins with Field Net Advisor, an intuitive and fully integrated platform that recommends when, where, and how much to irrigate. Improve your view and simplify your irrigation plan. Talk to your Zomatic dealer or visit Field Net Advisor. 
Ticketmaster.com. All right, lights uh, currently out. Uh, everybody's got their cell phones out with their lights shining. Huskers racing out with their kickoff unit for this game tonight. Again, beautiful weather. 68 degrees at kickoff. Just a fantastic night. Very little wind. Old Glory's off to our left, and it's barely fluttering over there. So just a picture-perfect night for Big Ten football. Under the lights, Friday night football in Piscataway. Aaron Cruikshank, who has been a Husker killer in his career. First at Wisconsin, now here at Rutgers Deep. Brendan Frankie, 27 kickoffs on the year, 20 for touchbacks with the approach and the boot. This one sailing over the head of Cruikshank out of the back of the end zone for yet another touchback. Glad you're with us here tonight on the Huskers Radio Network, or if you're listening to us online at Huskers.com, Nebraska wearing their road uniforms, the white tops, the red pants, that beautiful white helmet with a red end on the side and his side. And as Matt mentioned, Rutgers wearing all blacks, black top, black pants, and then silver numbers for them tonight. It's a it's a Halloween type look for the Scarlet Knights. It is. Nebraska has twelve guys out there trying to see which personnel they come out in, and then the run one off. Looks like Nash is gonna come out. Noah Bedro will get the start at quarterback. He's yet to throw a pass this year. He's had problems with his hand. He played five snaps against the Buckeyes last week. But didn't throw a pass. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Hand off to Monagay. The runner back runs right into Garrett Nelson. Slams him back after a gain of three. Monagay is a 5'9 sophomore. Good play by Garrett for the first tackle of the game. Yes, stood him up. It was a three-yard game, but a good tackle by Garrett. So second and seven. Rutgers goes no huddle. Two to the right, one to the near side. Snap back to Bedro. Looks left, throws a fade route down the near sideline. The pass is caught. Pulled in by Shaman Jones. Shameen Jones makes his ninth catch of the year. That was a beautiful ball from Noah Vedrill. His first completion of 2022 takes the ball to the Nebraska 41. That was good coverage. Malcolm just didn't get his hand up to knock it down. He was right there, Greg. It was a good throw, but you got to jump up and get a hand on it, try to knock it away. 34-yard pass play. Sam Brown will be the back this time. They do huddle, breaking it, have the ball to Nebraska 39. Just underway here in Piscataway. Federal claps the hands, turns, gives it off to Sam Brown around the right side, trying to get around the edge, does, makes the corner, bumped out of bounds after a gain of about seven, shoved out by Marquise Buford, it'll be second down and three. Henrich had a chance over there on the left side of the defense, got a stiff arm, wasn't able to get him to the ground, he got six. Second and four from the Nebraska 33, opening drive of the game, a pretty pitch and catch from Federal to Jones, put him in the Nebraska position. Ball at the Cornhusker 33. Snap back. They give it off to Brown trying to get around Henrich. Does. Stiff arms him as a first down. Runs out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Again, Nick had a chance. Couldn't quite get him down. He scoots forward for a first down. Uh, Garrett Nelson just blew that play up into the backfield. Looked like we were going to get him for a loss. Instead, it was a first down. Got a tackle better early on. Couple missed tackles and a pass that easily could have been knocked down with good coverage, but now Rutgers in business nearing the red zone. Salam, the running back, trips go right for Rutgers at the Nebraska 28 yard line. Bedro gets the snap, flags come out, it's on Nebraska, so a free play here for the Scarlet Knights. Noah rolls, throws to the end zone, throws it out of bounds, but it's going to cost Nebraska five yards. Somebody jumped early. We think it was on Nebraska. I think they're going to get the Huskers for jumping. Yes, they are. Defense number 44 in the neutral zone at the snap. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. So Gary Nelson, the guilty party, he comes out. O'Shawn Mathis, Mathis takes his spot. First and five for the Scarlet Knights. We play nearly two minutes. No score. Salam remains in the backfield. Bedro will line up in the shotgun. Two wide outs go right, one to the near side. Salam off to the right of Vedral from the Cornhusker 23. Snap back. They give it off to Salam. He bounces outside and gets bare tied and knocked down by Luke Reimer to gain a two. Sets up second down and three from the Nebraska 21. Good tackle by Luke on the right side. Brown now enters the game again. The true freshman running back. I'm just watching them on tape. I think he's their best back. And I think they may give him a healthy dose of carries tonight. Trips go right on second and three. Vedro checking off. Play clock at 15. Moves the back from the left to the right. Now they look to the sidelines. Now Noah may be checking again. Changing the play. Now they may move a man in motion. They may have to burn a timeout. Greg Schiano does. Calls a timeout on the far sideline. So he didn't like what he was seeing there at all. 
There was a lot of confusion for the Scarlet Knights. Yeah, I think they tried to change the play twice. We'll keep it here. Second and three coming up from the 21-yard line. Pretty good drive starting off for Rutgers. They started off with a run, and then they hit the big one down the sideline on the big gain. Then a couple of missed tackles, leaky defense for Nebraska. Another first down, then a false, then a, an offsides gives them five yards, and then they get two. So second and three or four yards here as they enter uh, right near the red zone. Five plays so far. They've moved it from their own 25 of the Scarlet Knights to the Nebraska 21. Brown remains in the game as a running back. Two wideouts go right, one to the near side. Second and three from the big red, 21. 12 29 to go opening quarter. No in the shotgun. Vedro gets the snap, keeps it himself off the left side, bounces to the outside. Looks like there was a hole in the edge, no call to the 10 to the 5. Vedro dies for the pylon. Touchdown, Rutgers. Noah Vedro just kind of picking his way down the field in there from 21 yards out, and the Scarlet Knights have grabbed the early lead. Wow, that was good scheme right there. They had a hat on a hat. Zone read. He comes back with a pulling guard to the left side. He goes up the sideline. Looked like two or three Huskers were there to try to make the tackle. He let two of them run past, and he dove to the pylon and scored. Good drive for Rutgers. So Noah Vedrill, who's only played a couple of snaps all year, gets the start tonight and engineers a 75-yard drive for the Scarlet Knights in six plays and scores it himself with a 21-yard run. They might be taking a look and see if he got in before hit the pylon with the football or did he step out around the two they're gonna all scoring plays are reviewed now they say no it's good so go ahead so now they're gonna line up for the PAT McAtomney is their kicker McAtomney is from Ireland so they have an Irish kicker a Aussie punter and there's movement up front Nebraska jumped early but Oscar's Kick was good. Huskers jumped off that left side. Looked like it might have been Ty Robinson jumped early. Now, not the start you wanted for the defense after a great performance last week. The long pass play and then a 21 yard run by Noah Vedral. And they're on the board first here tonight. Yeah, not the start Nebraska's defense was looking for, that's for sure. Really didn't do anything very good on that drive. They ran it, they threw it. We missed a couple of tackles, a couple of penalties. And played really well last week. Just going to have to adjust to whatever maybe they weren't ready for early in this game. So Rutgers trying to decide what to do with the penalty. They'll go ahead and take it. It's half the distance. Puts the ball at the one and a half, but they're going to still kick it. McAtomney. Right-footed kicker. Snap down kick is up and the kick is good. A low bullet. Out hit alignment in the back of the head. Well, looking for ways to get more for what you grow, Central Valley Ag can help you grow value. Download the My CVA app and see in real time just how much more money you make when you incorporate value added grain in your grain program. Learn how you can get up to $5,000 signing bonus with a value added grain contract at CVACoop.com. So again, a six-play, 75-yard drive. Just over two and a half minutes off the clock, and the Scarlet Knights have the early lead in this game. Well, now the offense has to respond. Put a drive together. Give the defense some time over here. Go to the whiteboard. Figure out maybe what was giving them some issues on that drive. They didn't do anything too crazy. A couple chances we had to make tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Didn't do it. Those plays hurt. They had the one long pass, but... Get on the whiteboard with Coach Bush and figure some things out. The offense needs to put a drive together to allow them to get that time over there. McAtomney will kick it away. 27 kickoffs, 14 for touchbacks. Tommy Hill, the deep husker, again wearing a different uniform number tonight at number two. McAtomney with a high short kick. Nebraska's racing up. They're going to make the catch at the 24-yard line and get up to around the 27-yard line. And that was Chris Kalarvik who made the grab as a short kick. Oscars will have it out past the 25 of the 27-yard line. That's pretty good field position. Good job by Chris. Weren't really expecting that, but a little pooch kick in a way. So here comes Casey Thompson on the Husker offense. Anthony Grant coming off a 32-carry effort against Indiana last week. He's up to 600 yards on the season. Nebraska went deep 
early in the game last week. Mark Whipple likes to try to stretch the defense early on. Let's see how early he tries it. First and 10 on the 27. Washington split to the near side. Here comes Alante Brown. Rowing the pocket as Casey flips it out to Travis Vokalek. Makes a catch and leaps forward to the 34-yard line. Again, about seven on the play. Izian, Christian Izian, their leading tackler, knocks him down. I like that little bootleg move, Casey. Get Travis involved early. Nice gain on first down. It'll be second down and three from the Cornusker 34. 11.55 to go opening quarter, 7-0. Rutgers with the lead. Pistol set, Grant right behind Thompson. Two wide outs, split to the left. Snap back, they give it off to Anthony. Cuts back inside, gets up free for a first down to the 38-yard line. Nice run, he went right and cut back left. Found the lane, got the first down. With a gain of about five on the play, tackled by Tyron Powell. Man, if he steps through that one, there's a lot of room. Really good run. First and ten, big red at their own 38. Two wide outs go left, one to the near side. Paul Brown now in motion, snap back to Thompson. Looking left, stepping, throwing, pass caught by Alonso over the middle, short gain of two to the 40-yard line. Powell immediately there to bring him down. Casey got hit just as he was getting rid of that one. Second down and eight. Seven nothing. Scarlet Knights. Washington comes to the near side. Palmer and Brown split left. Grant the back. Thompson on the gun. Trent Nixon snaps it back. Give off to Anthony Grant. Stumbles forward. Gets right back to the line of scrimmage. They got third and eight coming up. Wow. There were three guys in the backfield when he got the football. So something was not blocked right up front. And this is not where you want to be at third and eight. Couple of line, couple of edge rushers come in for Scarlet Knights. He tackles leave on third and eight. Casey goes gun, tight formation left. One wide receiver splits to the near side. Thompson looks over the Scarlet Knight defense, gets a belt high snap. Now being rushed, back pedal, throws off his back foot low, and it is incomplete. Tried to hit a Husker, Trey Palmer, right in front of the Scarlet Knight bench. The ball bounced to him, though, and the Huskers will be forced to punt. Casey got hit just as he was getting rid of that ball. They had everybody on the line of scrimmage on that play. Seven guys right at the line of scrimmage. You don't know who's coming and who's not. Well, six of them did, and two of them ended up on top of Casey Thompson. So the Huskers get one first down and are forced to punt. It'll be Brian Buschini to kick it away. Crookshank is deep for Rutgers averaging six yards of punt return. Bushini averaging 45.2 yards a kick. Brady Weiss to snap it. Good snap back. Bushini booms one up. High kick over near the sideline. Crookshanks in a way for a fair catch and makes it at the 13-yard line. So good punt that time by Bushini with no return. 46-yard punt. No return for Brian Bushini. And there is a flag over on the sideline of Rutgers. Let's see if that's post-possession flag or not. Officials are talking about it. The cheerleaders have run out on the field, but we've got to figure out what this penalty is before we go to a break. I didn't even see the flag come out, but you're right. The white hat's over there talking to him, trying to figure it out. It's a good punt. Well, while they sort that out, let's step aside. Break in the action. 10-18 to go opening quarter. Rutgers with a 7-0 lead here on the Huskers Radio Network. Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. When you incorporate value-added grains into your operation, you add more dollars and more value to every acre. When you add the MyCVA app, you see just how much more value with every digital scale ticket. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how you can get up to a $5,000 signing bonus with a value-added grain contract at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag the official co-op of Husker Nation. Get a high B-plus premium membership for just $99 a year and get fuel savings every time you shop in-store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup. With high B-plus, our plus equals more. For a limited time, get $50 off an annual high B-plus membership with code SAVEBIG. That's right, get $50 off a high V Plus membership with code SAVEBIG. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. 
because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. 7-0 Rutgers with the lead. The penalty was a block out of bounds on Rutgers, so it'll be half the distance to the goal. So they're going to start this drive from the 7-yard line. They do lead it those 7 to nothing early in this game. Let's get a Rob Seco sideline update with Jessica. Well, after the touchdown there by Rutgers, Fence coming over and Bill Bush going up and down. Hey, we're all right. We're all right. It's a long game. Even going over to Markham House. Hey, get, get, keep your head up. We're, we're just fine. And so uh, offense, too. Uh, Mark Whipple coming over and talking to the wide receivers. Hey, they're bringing a lot of pressure. Got to help out with blocking. All right. That was, you know, the offense got one first down, so they gave the defense a little bit of time to kind of maybe collect their thoughts. Love the penalty on Rutgers because, man, you back them up now. Maybe play a little field position battle here. Yeah, you have to take advantage of this now. Backed up to the seven-yard line. Great pump from Bushini. See if the defense adjusts it a little bit and can try to get a stop. I'll tell you, in warm-ups, I don't know if I've ever seen two punters that were hitting bombs like these two guys. I mean, Bushini and their guy, what's his name again? I looked at it a minute ago. Corsak. Corsak. Man. I mean, just like, I'm talking 70 yarders. There was a little bit of wind, but still. Well, he's an Aussie, and he's got a really good average. A senior, he's been in this league a couple of years. Manungai is the back. Johnny Langan is going to be taking the snap here. The former quarterback now at tight end. They give it off to Manungai. He gets up to the 10, maybe the 11 yard. That was Langan who got the handoff from Noah. So Langan lined up in the backfield. Former quarterback now a tight end. He carried it for about three yards to the 10. It'll be second down and seven. Garrett Nelson there to close the door. Huskers were expecting Rutgers to try to run the ball tonight. They were just line it up with a couple of tight ends and see if they could bang it at these black shirts. Let's see if they can hold up tonight. They're going to have to rotate guys up front and try to play strong in the run game. Second and seven from the 10. Their own. Noah Vedro goes shotgun. Brown's in the backfield with him turns they give it off to sam brown and he Ooh. gets stood up again after a gain of about three maybe got to the 14 yard line now oh, they're even going to give him forward progress at a 15 so a five yard gain sets up sec third down and two luke reimer stood him up good hit by luke he had a full head of steam and luke stood him up pushed him back but not until he got almost five yards so big third down third down and two Rutgers has really struggled this year on third down they're only converting 32% of their third downs. Third and two here from their own 15. This would be a big stop if the Oscar defense could get the ball back right here. Make them punt from their goal line. Bed in the gun. Brown to his left. Man in motion to the near side. Snap back. Zone read. Give it off to Brown, and he's close. I think he got it. Looks like the spot from the side judge is going to give him enough to move the sticks between the 17 and 18-yard line. Reimer brought him down. Rutgers player down. Looks like an offensive lineman. It's the tackle. Willie Tyler left not tackle. getting up. Hold, looks like he's holding his shoulder. So he is He's a big guy. He's one of their seniors up front. They've got three senior starters along the offensive line. Tyler being one of those. They're working on his ankle mm. down on the sideline. Hey, the Lincoln Airport is now the official airport of the Oscars with direct flights to Denver, Chicago, and now Houston. Book your flights and your tickets. Go fly LNK.com. So it's not his shoulder. Yeah. I think it's his ankle. There they are You're looking right. at that ankle. We do have a timeout here on the field. 8.51 left to go in the first quarter. 7 nothing. Rutgers with a lead here on the Huskers radio network. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. The Nebraska FFA is growing leaders and building communities. Together, we are strengthening agriculture. The Nebraska FFA Foundation believes in our future leaders and the communities they serve. We believe in the future of agriculture. Join us in the I Believe in the Future of Ag campaign. Learn more online at neffafoundation.org. Brought to you by CPI, cooperative producers adding value, sharing success, and Bayer, science for a better life. 
Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. 7 up these Scarlet Knights. They've helped that tackle Willie Totter to the sideline. He was kind of gimpy going over there. One of their three senior starters along the line. The result of the play was enough to move the sticks. And now you got to try to stop this set of downs. Rutgers went right down the field. That opening drive against Nebraska. Oscars got one first down on their first possession before punting back. And now the Scarlet Knights, second possession of the game. They've got first and ten at their own 18. Rutgers of Got a lot of older guys on their team. They've got nine players on this roster that are sixth-year players in college football. We're going to see that for a couple more years as they roll through the COVID guys. Yeah, we had a few of those last year. We did. I'm with you. I'm looking out over the stadium. They announced this as a sellout. There have to be at least 10,000 empty seats. Maybe more. 15,000? Yeah. Look I at think, the upper deck over there. More than more than 10. Wow. All right, first and 10, Rutgers. Browns the back. Noah Bedrill, the former Cornhusker, the Wahoo Nebraska product, is in the shotgun. Two wideouts stacked to the near side, one on the far side. They whistle to play to resume. Snap back to Vedrill. Turns. Gives it off to Brown, and he slides forward for about four yards. Yeah, maybe five to the 23. Isaac Gifford knocked into the turf, but Brown... Just kind of leap forward for the five-yard gain. Yeah, they're getting too much, and they're actually playing with a little pace. Second down and five from the 23. Bedro gets the belt high snap, looks to the near side, launches another ball down the field, and the pass again is caught in front of the Husker bench by Sean Ryan, who had a touchdown catch.